the dinosaurs didn't know extinction was coming. They carried on romping and stomping as the sky turned to fire and that meteor took out much of Mexico. In a similar vein, we doubt anyone at Aston Martin has been brave enough to tell the venerable vanquish that it's living at the far end of an overdraft of borrowed time. This is a car that sits on an architecture that already has been replaced and which is still powered by the gloriously anachronistic naturally aspirated V12 that Aston has been using for nearly two decades. But while the new, turbocharged DB11 is an empirically better car by almost any metric you choose to employ, it can't match the exclusivity of Aston's range stopper. Buyers who opt for the Vanquish will have to find an extra $80,000 to get a car with less equipment and less power than its supposedly junior sister DB11, which costs only $214,820. But they will find themselves at the pinnacle of Mount Aston. It's impossible not to see the continued appeal of this grandest of grand tourers, a car that makes a Bentley Continental GT look like something bought at Sears. Now, the Vanquish has been given a final freshening and the deployment of the S badges that Aston reserves for its ultimate incarnations.